So this is interesting. According to the American Diabetes Association, 1.5 million Americans are diagnosed with diabetes every year, and we can only assume there are many who are undiagnosed. So why is there such a huge diabetic population? Well, here to answer that is Dr. Tracy Linhart from Peaks of Health. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you. I don't know if we've talked about diabetes with you before. This is a personal topic to you as well, but let's answer that. Why such a huge diabetic There's population? There's a lot of things that can cause diabetes. One, we have the Americans have a poor diet. Yeah. You know, the high fructose corn syrup they started adding into our diets turns out to be that it actually creates diabetes, oh, um, accelerates it. Some of the medications we give people can accelerate it. Stress is a big one because hmm. when you're stressed out and you produce a lot of cortisol, guess what? It turns into sugar. Uh. So that's another one that can cause a lot of diabetes, but most of it is the high carbohydrate poor diet we have. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit, if you don't mind, about your, your personal story with this and, and why that, I think, matters uh, for patients listening it this morning. It does, because, you know, um, I was diabetic probably about 12 years now, mm -hmm. um, it's been, and I had no clue. I mean, there were signs that something was happening long before it ever happened, but I didn't think it would happen that quickly. Um, my sugar was absolutely normal one month in November. By December, I woke up and I couldn't drink enough water to save my life. So I went into, well, I was in the emergency room, I was working, and uh, it turned out my sugar was 180. So I flipped to diabetes, and it was such a so rapid. What on earth? Yeah, is that common for it to hit so fast? It can. It's not normally that common. Um, but for some reason, I guess because I just kind of blew everything out. I was, you know, being in the ER, it's high stress. I, know, I was, I was taking large were, yeah. amounts of caffeine, which affect it. Um, of course, the diet's not as good because you can't eat. So they bring yeah. donuts and pizza down. They never bring anything healthy down. <laughs> um, so, you know, that was one thing that happened. And then when I started medication, because I was going mm -hmm. to all the endocrinology lectures I could get my hands on, to find out how to treat. So it was an optimal therapy. But by the time they finished in two years, I was on 120 units of insulin, two grams of metformin, in, actos. I was on seven medications and I felt like crap. I was gaining weight like crazy and I was exercising six times a week and eating 1,200 calories a day. And now fast forward and you are not no longer... Now fast forward, I'm not on anything. I don't take insulin anymore. I haven't for 12 years. Uh, I met an endocrinologist that told me you can reverse, reverse the disease. Well, I wasn't taught that and I don't think we're taught that. I wasn't taught that in any lecture I went to. And she's like, no, it's reversible, you know? And so that's what we do for our patients. We actually teach them not only how to eat properly, for their diabetes, but we give them the nutrients the body needs to mm -hmm. restore the system, get the body working again so the insulin works. I was making more than enough insulin. I didn't yeah. need insulin. I just had to have it work. So you hear this term of pre-diabetic as well. I mean, what are your thoughts when someone is in that stage? Yeah, that's the best time to catch them. Their pancreas is working fine. They're starting to become insulin resistant and you can reverse that disease process and so they never become diabetic. And you can find it 10 years before it happens. I mean, I went back and looked at a lot of my blood work. There were signs in my blood work nobody pointed out and I didn't know because I was an ER doc. You know, we deal with mm -hmm. acute illness and injury. We don't deal with, deal with chronic. And I spotted it in my 20s. I was 38 when I became diabetic. So it was, you know, yeah. that process. Um, so we actually spot, we look for those signs in those patients and we find those things. For instance, I had a young guy who was very tired, fatigued. His sugar was absolutely normal. His insulin level though was 120. It should be about wow. five. So what do you meant for, for people watching this morning? What do you recommend to do to, to maybe prevent this if this is somewhat preventable? Biggest is it prevention we can diet? do is eat healthier. Okay. You know, you know, I believe in the 80-20 rule because frankly, you gotta live. Okay. So 80% of the like time I role. behave myself, 20% <laughs> of the time I cheat. Okay. You know, so, um, but I the other thing is- I that, I like yeah, that. So, and then work out, you know, yeah. exercise, walk, do something because that increases the sensitivity to insulin in your body. That changes how your body receives the insulin and the sugar. So it makes okay. your body turn sugar into energy. All right, well, let's put up your contact information. You're doing another special offer for us uh, this morning with consultations. Again, this is where you love kind of sitting down, talking with people, getting to know who they are and saying, okay, let's get to, to what's really going on with your body here. So uh, I believe it's the free 15 minute consultation that'll get you started on that. But there is the contact info, again, the phone number and website as well. Always so good to see you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you.